Hey guys and welcome back to my nail journal. So I know I'm usually just a nail channel, but again, just like with eyeglasses, I like other things. And I recently sold my 2002 Chevy Cavalier and got a 2006 Jeep Liberty. And this is supposed to be like my mom car. This is supposed to be set up where I can put Miles' bike in the back and head off to the park if I want to. So I bought some like organizational stuff to kind of help keep it clean. Cause you know, when you have kids, they love to trash your car with either toys or whatever. So I just wanted to film a little quick video of me setting it up and what I got because everything is budget friendly. The most expensive thing I bought was I think less than $25. So I can have everything linked down in the description box also. Um, and just keep in mind that it's, I'm going to put it through my Amazon uh, associates program. So I'll get a commission if you buy from that, or you can look it up separate if you don't want to give me a commission. Um, but yeah, all the links that I'll give you to buy the stuff off Amazon will give me commission if you pay for them. So, uh, but I just want to show you because it's kind of budget friendly and it's just fun organizational stuff. And this is a SUV shaped Jeep. So like sports Jeep, it's kind of short, but the way it's set up, it's set up similar to an SUV. So I know that's like everybody's favorite mom car, that in a van. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I have is this two pack. So this is going to be the back of your seats organizer. Um, this is really great for kids because it's supposed to be waterproof, easy to clean, and it'll help keep the back of your seats clean if the kids like to kick the seat, put their dirty shoes up there. But you can fit like a 10 inch tablet and you can touch the screen through here if they want to like change, if they want to watch TV. And of course they can put their toys and drinks in there. There are bees out here flying around, so I might be freaking out. But yeah, so this is just an organizer to go on the back of both of these seats. It's a two pack. Again, I'll have everything linked below. So here's what it looks like. You have four nets to put some water bottles or whatever, and then this Velcro's to open up um, larger. So all it is is a buckle here and a buckle here to come around the back of the seat. So I thought the clouds were gonna stay out for me, but it's actually so hot. I'm so scared for my phone to overheat. Sit back, honey, sit back. So here's what it looks like on and you can again put phone here, bottles here. It needs to be tightened and I'm not gonna put the other one on just yet because I just don't want to my, my phone to overheat. Um, the other thing that kinda sucks is that my headrest in the front don't adjust. It don't have like the metal bars. So this is just kinda like there instead of sinking into like the metal bars. Um, and then it just goes through down here and then obviously make sure that you don't put it over your seat belt. So we're gonna show you the next thing. So I got this Rolls Gold paperwork organizer for your registration and your um, insurance card and all that. And it's really nice and spacious. There's a lot of pockets in here. Um, it has a finger slip in this one to slip out your information, your insurance card if you need to. And it came with this cute silver pin too, in case you need a pin for anything. So um, we just got the title switched and the registration and all that. So all I have is like the paperwork where we paid for it, but I don't have that actually yet. So I'm not going to put anything in here just yet, but obviously that goes in your glove box and my glove box is kind of tiny. So that's my only issue here. I'm going to have to like figure out how to set this where it can click. So yeah, it's kind of, yeah. Okay, so what I figured for now, I'm going to put the like booklet that usually slips up in here and place it somewhere else so I can keep this up here. And then I'll be able to shut my glove box. It kind of sucks that they didn't make this a little bit bigger, but that way it works at least. Okay, sorry, I don't have my mic plugged in, so the audio is going to be a little different, but somehow I messed up and managed to not show you guys. Um, this little gadget. So I, because this is a 2006 Jeep Liberty, it doesn't have an aux put or a way to Bluetooth my phone. So you can get one of these. And I think this was literally like 15 or $16. Again, it'll be linked down below. Um, but you can plug it into your cigarette lighter 
and you what you do is you it's just a FM radio transfer thing so you just find an empty station and then you Bluetooth your phone and you can answer calls and play your music and charge your phone here with the USBs really easy but make sure that when you're not using it you obviously keep it unplugged so it doesn't just drain the battery also when we got the car um, this was already on here so this is a pop socket holder so my phone can sit right there and yeah this thing works really well I already used it earlier before we got home and I started filming um, but yeah, just want to show you that. Okay, my phone is just in direct sunlight and this is not good. So, again, this is similar to the front seat organizers, but this one will go across here to keep the trunk from being just piled up. And let's see, I only have two headrests back here. I don't have a third one because my seats fold. So let's see here. How does this work? There's Velcro at the bottom here. There's Velcro on all the sides, so I'm guessing it'll Velcro to like the carpeted part. Um, okay. So let's do this one first. Now this one, the headrests do have like the bars here. So let's see. We'll have to tighten them up as we go. One there and one here. It could be a little wider, but it's going to work. Yeah. Hook it up. I can't see what I'm doing. I do. You I got it. I just got it. Okay. You put a little so there's little that. Little. And then we're going to push this here. And it Velcros. So that should help keep the trunk a little organized. So give mommy the first aid kit. So I also got this first aid kit that has 110 pieces. This kit comes with everything you could ever need. Um, it has drug facts for the alcohol prep pads and antiseptic wipes. Here is literally a list of everything it comes with. It comes with gloves and everything. If you want to pause to read that, again, I'll have it linked below. Um, so just a mom with young kids, you go to the park, they fall and scrape their knees. You have everything right here. Baby, climb out of there. Come on. So I just want to keep this in one of these so that it's accessible. And then um, later on, I will also put like my jumper cables there, anything like that. And then you can obviously put like water bottles. I'm going to keep a thing of baby wipes in one of these here. Um, and just any extra stuff like that you can carry. So that way I have room for all the other stuff that I have to put in the trunk, like the duck's bedding. The duck's food. And then we also got cables to hook our camp pop-up camper up to the hitch so that the turn signals obviously work. And the hydraulic things that hold the glass up, mine is, as you can see, so he ordered those as well. That's also in the Amazon box. So when he gets home, he's going to switch those out and switch out my taillights. We have all black. It's going to look really nice. And then this baby needs to go to a car wash. So yeah, I really like everything that I got. Everything works really well. And again, it was budget friendly. Like the most expensive thing I bought was the trunk organizer. And that was about 20 to, I know it was less than $25, but yeah, it's really hot. And I'm really scared that my phone is going to overheat. So I'm going to get off here. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and there's a little Jeep organizing video, uh, budget friendly. So yeah. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.